Today's video is sick. All right? It's very sick. I know a lot of you guys are complaining. Oh, I want all Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't want all fitness. Well, too bad for you. Good for you, actually, and bad for you. But we're not going to do two channels, two separate channels. Trip Fitness, subscribe for all the fitness, and Trip Yu-Gi-Oh for all the Yu-Gi-Oh. All right? Today is Sunday football, so we got to go watch some football. We're going to finish this Yu-Gi-Oh video up very, very quick. It is very simple of a video. I'm going to be going on random matches on Rated, looking for, or unrated, and looking for all sorts of random matches. Maybe we'll find some Thunder Dragons. Maybe we'll find anything from Sofu. Maybe we'll find some other random stuff. Maybe some Pendulum. Maybe a new FTK, etc., etc. We're going to be doing a lot of commentating, roasting people, etc., etc. So make sure to subscribe to Trip Gaming and Trip Fitness for all the fitness vlogs. I just posted one right now. Also, check that one out for uh, Shoulder Try Day. So the Triff Day, you feel me? And with that being said, on to the Yu-Gi-Oh! video. What's good, guys? We're back at another video. It's gonna be Pendulum versus some random deck. I'm, it's my boy Kill Switch. Oh, what a play. So we, we fast forward a bit. So he started off with Foolish Burial, and then Mythical, he had Mythical Beast Cerberus in hand as well. And then on Cerberus' Destruction, he triggered Chrono, specializing Avion. Let's go. When a card or effect activated, Negated. So now you can't even hand trap the Electrum. Avion is super clutch when opened with Chrono. What a hand so far. Let's see what he does. But hey, at the end of the day, Pendulums are the greatest deck in history. So there's no doubt it's going to happen, anyways. All right. So this is my boy, Kill Switch, putting in the work. He's also a sick rapper for those of you who don't know. But he now sends Harmonizing. We don't know what's in his hand. But the Avion does, uh, does stop uh, if a hand trap was activated. Uh, when a card effect activates, you just simply negate it, uh, the effect of it. And allowing your Electrum to go through freely, Avion is clutch. I love that card. The big bird, big chicken, whatever you guys want to call it. But let's see what happens here. Him sending a Harmonizing could mean lots of things. Uh, what should I send to Complete Scales? Oh, I, I can't answer that, bro. You're in a game. You're in a game. I can't answer that. What should I send to complete scales? Uh, huh, you can't make, uh, pop something random, add a scale, or get lucky, add wisdom. If you add wisdom, your draw can get magician. So he can do anything, I, I don't know his hand, but he's asking how is he going to get uh, proper scales. Uh, he... If he doesn't have a low skill in hand, he should have sent Wisdom Eye. That way, if he drew... Okay, that ensures he has it. That's good, that's good. That ensured that just in case... That was a good play. That ensure that 100% he'll be able to uh, get the Harmonizing. Uh, so, he could, if he drew a high scale, he could pen the Harmonizing. But if he didn't draw high skills, which he was trying to search, then he simply uh, put Harmonizing in scale. So, it's a good play. Uh, unfortunately, he couldn't draw another high scale. But let's see what else he has. Two, two Avions. Let's go. That's the boy. Avion, bro. This card's amazing, man. You guys uh, are sleeping on Avion, boys. Uh, I haven't really updated this in a long time. But spoiler alert, it has three Avions. This card's too good. It's actually just too good, man. It's too good. Uh, you can't not play Avion. He's going to go double Avion and Rito for his turn with advantage in his hand. Beautiful. Let's see uh let's see what the opponent can do. So he has Narito, double Avion, Electrum, Scale set up for next turn to pen two again, and pen the Avions back again from Warner Gates. Let's see what this guy does. If he could stop this, then he's uh then maybe he's the guy he's playing is playing a good deck, but pendulums are unstoppable, so it doesn't even matter. But pendulum Avion Respect to you, Avion. You're the champ. Shadow Avion, you are winning the thumbnail today. Uh, definitely got to put respect on Avion's name. Uh, one of the best cards ever in history. In a Pendulum deck, put respect on the OGs. So he's playing a buy, uh, Crusadia. Uh, let's see what this garbage deck is going to attempt to do. They're so bad, it's not even worth reading. We lost. Um, I don't know what to say about that. The guy got lucky, alright, Crusadia, just jumped up on it, the lucky guy, 
He's a lucky guy, all right? He's lucky. I don't know what the deck does. The deck sucks anyways. We basically gave you the game. We would have won if we kept playing. Uh, maybe we wouldn't get OTK'd. But, hey, we're going to move forward. Let's go, all right? He's OTK now. He's going to put the Umbrella board for the gates, all right? And you're going to win, all right? Let's go. Let's go. Well played by the guy that wasted 10 minutes of my life. But, let's go, all right? Game two here. Game two. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What do you guys think? How many negates is he going to put up, boys? How many negates is he going to put up? I'm going with four. Nah, I'm going with three. Because only Pengar puts up four on an everyday basis. Oh, so... My boy let him go first. I think that's what you got to do with Crusadia. And he sets and passes. Nice deck. Your deck sucks. Yada, yada. Let's go. So, Cerberus. Man, there's no way Pendulums are going to lose two games in a row to this deck. But, Cerberus on Jackal. Let's see what happens. Boys, we're uh, triggering Chrono. I, right. You, sir. Uh... Rate yo game gaming. Uh, I'm about to get obliterated by the junior, the new junior pen god. Chrono Jackal stop a hand trap. Activate that spell. Fantastic play. Your hand traps are now useless, and you have one dead set card, and you're going to get OTK'd uh, very beautifully. Uh, normal some desires, desires. Ah yeah, let's go, baby. You can't even actually. I can't do nothing because you're going to negate it with Jackal. Let's use messaging the pen god. It's Ryan Su. Ryan, Ryan, not Ryan. Ryan you. Not Ryan Su. Ryan you. Uh, hey. What's good? X Dragon Duel Champ. He's a great player. He's on our team. Team Game Nation. You know, greatest team in the world. And boom. Just like that. Got a little Electrum. Uh, he's probably going to activate his strike or whatever that trap is. Uh whatever he's going to activate and then as long as not a torrential this game is over he's going to send the scale he needs add it unless he has a scale already or you can pen something he wants and it's going to be very swift victory for the pendulum player it's about to be 1-1 going to game 3 where my boy's going to put up 4 negates and win the duel let's go let's go so he says electrum's good this is why having jackal's clutch boys having jackal is extremely clutch because you uh, negate hand traps in so many ways. You could tribute summon it, special summon it with Chrono. There's many ways to bring it out to ensure that your Electrum will resolve, depending on how many turbo cards you have, obviously. But the more turbo cards you have, and you have six ways to go into Jackal slash five, depending on how many you play, uh, it's very easy to ensure Jackal's on the field. So he pops zero, which means he has a low skill in hand. Got a high skill to ensure he got it, the high skill in his hand. Uh, the Fang. I might have sent Wisdom Eye if he had a low skill Magician. Unless he drew the janky, I would have 100% brought out Wisdom uh, to make it flow through the deck. Twin Twister. Yikes, dude. Oh. Well timed Twister. Well timed Twister. That's. Oh, ah. My boy can't pen summon now. That's, uh. That's a heartbreaker right there, boys, I must say. Uh, unless he does. He has three cards left in his hand. He could have a low scale and a high scale. Uh, and then that will be uh, over for the other guy. Uh, if he special with Dark Room and Fang, if he has like a 0 and a 5 or a 0 and a 4, which happens often as well, uh, that's game. And if you could pen high scale, if you could spend Chrono Janky as game, all he needs is any scale. 0, 5, 5, 8, 0, 4, 4, 8, anything like that. Oh, Chrono! Chrono! Chrono triggering? Cro Let's go! Ah! Let's go! Pendulums with the victory in game two. They got lucky game one, boys. Really got whatever it is, Crusadia. I was number one fault at this. I personally just thought Crusadia sucked. I didn't even attempt to read the effects. So, uh, maybe I'm the reason I lost. Maybe he's hearing my confidence on the side. When we're going to win, that we just let Crusadia take a game. But that's not going to happen again, alright? 1-1, one, one, going to game three, the deciding match. Who's going to win? Who's going to win this one, boys? Place your bets in the comments. Game three. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Oh, speaking of bets, I want my pro line. Uh, I didn't bet a lot on it. 
I got two two kid tickets, a uh, guaranteed victory ticket where I won a few bucks, and there's another one where it's like higher risk. The higher risk one lost because I had two games left, and I would have won three bills. No, I don't bet a lot of money, just a little bit, uh, for uh, like 10, 20 bucks for fun. I would have won three bills if the, as as the, the Jaguars beat the Duck Cowboys, which the whole world thought was going to happen, and did it. And then the Pats to destroy the Chiefs, which I guarantee is going to happen. Kickoff's happening soon. Uh, I can't wait to see that game. Kickoff's in uh, 20 minutes for uh, the Sunday Nighter. And uh, off we go with the duel. Uh, we did win $80, though, with the easy ticket. Uh, we bet on uh, Mini to beat Arizona easy. Houston beat Buffalo. Got a little lucky with that one. Like, uh, really lucky with that one. Uh, that we got the intercept with the pick six. Peterman, thank you for sucking. You're the best. You won me 80 bucks. And the Eagles to be the Giants, which the whole world knew was happening. And boom. Off the bat, the boy opens up Cerberus. And opening up Mythical Beast, Master Cerberus, is a very high chance of victory. Uh, and you're going to have a celebration by playing Cerberus. So, good for him. What's good, ex Yu Gi Oh player? F, pay F for respects. Get wrecked, son. Uh, we are not responding to that because we're not an ex Yu Gi Oh player. And yikes! Ah, what? How'd you pass? How'd you pass? Bro! Come on, bro! Kill switch, man! This is going on YouTube! Win or lose is going, bro! You can't be doing turns like that. Cerberus Jackal pass? Come on, bro! This is why you gotta play 60 cards, man! People don't listen to the to the GOAT! You gotta play 60 to have a bigger assortment of low skills and high skills to ensure that they're mixed up, right? I'm not going to just post the games that we win. I'm always going to post just general games, win or lose, that I do. Because I want you guys to know what, what happened. Sometimes you're going to have hands like this. Uh, so doesn't mean he lost, though. It just means he didn't draw the scale. All he, He's now one card away from winning the duel, and he's going to get it in turn two. This is why they're like, so good against garbage brick stars and strikers since they can't OTK OTK. Trick stars can put up 6k, but not 8k. And then you win after that when you draw that skill you need, right? So it's not over for our boy yet. Crusadia is known to OTK, but we'll just say that their deck uh, uh, drew bad, we'll say, and hope they don't OTK us. And if they don't OTK us, we are good to win the next turn. So let's see what happens here. There's also a chance my boy had just enough for an Electra, but we got hand trapped, he loses the duel. That's another situation that happens sometimes. But let's see what's going on here. So uh, he ends his turn without attacking. Maybe one of his, I don't know the effects. Maybe one of the effects that you can't attack this turn when you activate this effect. Or some garbage like that. So who knows. But a bunch of these spells are probably just cards aren't affected by some garbage. They're not real traps because they, why would he play traps going second? Right? Because he, uh, uh, he let my boy go first. Because he got the choice for game three. But if the card my boy drew was uh, the right skill he needs, he wins the duel. So never give up. No matter what, anything can happen. Do not give up uh, with pendulums. Because you're always one card away from winning the duel, so don't give up. The odds are stacked against our boy here, so we're now going to see what pendulums are made of. Are we going to come back and win the duel? Are we going to come back and win the match? Or are we going to lose? Are we going to lose? So anything can happen. So, activating the Jackal now. I don't know what any of the Crusadia cards do because they suck. So, activating the Jackal, uh, we're going to see... If he's going to stop anything. So. Uh, oh yeah. He just forgot. To <laughs> he just forgot to attack. I keep reminding. I swear I need to keep reminding myself to attack. Hey. Your L bro. It's because you're facing the greatest deck in the planet. I understand. It could be very tough. Uh, you can get very nervous. By playing the best deck in the planet. So there's high chances that you're going to misplay. When you duel against the best deck in the planet. Alright. Plain and simple. Like. It is a intimidation factor in playing pendulums that makes your opponent misplay. Many people misplay against me because they can't handle the pressure. They can't handle the pressure of the pendulum onslaught that's about to go down if they don't play correctly. So they crum crumble down under the pressure just as the opponent's about to do as my pendulum friend, my pendulum brother is going to destroy them. So uh, that is now two there for Cerberus, uh, he's going to activate another spell to get four, to banish one of the 
garbage Crusadia cards, which I'm not going to read because I refuse to give them the respect that they do not deserve about being read. That's how garbage they are. You're going to read them and you'll still achieve victory. Even opening Bricky like that, not being able to summon anything your first turn, and you will still win. That is the power of Pendulums. That is the power of the Trift. That is the power of the Fitness. That is the power of all combined. All right? So, uh, yeah, my boy lifts too, by the way. That's why the opponent misplays. He saw his bicep through the computer and thought, I'm scared now. I'm going to let this guy pass me in the grocery store in my line. He's going to pass my, my line, my spot in line at the grocery store. And I'm gonna let I'm gonna misplay and let him win because I'm intimidated by being a Crusadia player facing a shredded pendulum player. Welcome to my life. Anyways, he summons Black Fang. He does have the Jackal as well in his hand, so he could special uh, pen summon the Jackal as well from his extra if he didn't open draw a low scale from the uh, the top deck. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. Uh, I know that they do have their card, uh, their, their spell card to protect the card or whatever. I don't even know what any of these do because I'm not reading them. They suck. But regardless, you're you may ensuring that your opponent's gonna activate a card and lose a card, so nagging in the process by a free effect from Cerberus. So, Dark Monk City Monster Control. Dark Monk City Monster is unaffected by card effects this turn except its own. No problem. You're just gonna attack over it. Uh, I'm pretty sure its attack is like a whole lot, but uh, gains attack equal to the okay unaffected by card effects. And uh, I don't think it gains a uh, attack still because I think you have to banish it. Uh, banish phase. I mean, if you do, so yeah, and you don't banish it, so you're not gonna be able to gain the attack from it. Uh, so desire to draw two. The desires was you should have the desires before, bro. After what? Unless you just drew the desires, that makes no sense at all, bro. Why would you do that? Uh, huh? Maybe he drew the desire. He had to draw the desires for sure. That's also like you for sure have to draw the desires this turn. I would have desired last turn after you. Ser uh, they don't ash your Cerberus. They don't have ash, so I would have done it for sure. Normal summoning now with and the Cerberus. They oh, you could have got Electro. Ah, I wouldn't have passed if I was him. I would not have passed if I was my boy. Uh, because who cares? You don't even need, like. I wouldn't have passed. You had a, you had a you had you could have pen summoned. You could have put up some gates. I, I wouldn't have passed, but. Hey, it's okay. It, it turned out, it worked out. Uh, but we'll see how it ends up. We don't know if he's going to win the duel yet. But this now is... Uh, so Electrum... I wonder if he's going to activate the effect because he feared a hand trap last turn is what it seemed like. So I wonder if he's going to even activate Electrum's effect to, for a Ghost Ogre to get triggered. But uh, for, but sometimes if you need a low scale, even if they have a hand trap, you just got to do it. So if he has no low scale, I'm using its effect. Uh, he has a low skill. I'm not using it. Send effect. I'm pendulum summoning three. Uh, wait, you only pendulum one. Oh, I'm using it effect. You have to use electrical effect here. You only have one card in the extra deck to pen summon when you could summon three. So you need to send something there to be able to pen summon it out. And if they go soger, they go soger. It's not going to do anything anyways. Electrum will be useless at that point because you just pen summon the jackal, uh, either at electrum spot or here. So. Oh, he didn't use it to fact. That's a big misplay, bro. That's a huge misplay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a big misplay. Uh, I know he pent. That's a huge misplay, man. Who cares if he goes so good? Like, the Electrum. You see what I mean? Like, he can only pendulum summon one card. That's a huge misplay. That's a gigantic misplay. Even if it's two cards, he could have had pen five monsters easily. Even if they go so good, Electrum has one less hand trap. And then you pen call after. And they didn't ask any of your Cerberuses. They are ashing the Cerberus. You one hundred percent misplay. Come on, bro, you're better than that. Uh, even like even if they hand trapped the Electrum with Pen Call, all the cards you have in hand, you're still Pendulum Summon. Every like the whole field is gonna be full without this. You get a Pen Jackal here, summon Monster Three, Four, and attack. Oh, he's a Dragon Pit, which is hilarious. Oh, Dragon. I don't know harmonizing, but still, he can only Pen Summon one monster, so Electrum's effect will become useless. And I would not have Pen Called the Jackal away. I would have. You didn't use Electrum's effect yet. Uh, you're not going to be able to draw now from Electrum. That's a lot of misplays from my boy, man. Come on, you're way better than that. Don't make these misplays. But Pendulum are so good. Even through the misplays, you're still going to win because it's the best deck of all time. I, I don't know his hand, but I sense up Apex Avion in there. Uh, I do see him Pendulum summoning a bunch with Avion. And if there's no strike, we win the duel. Uh, he should have had a Black Fang if he had another to Pendulum summon it in case it had a strike. Because... <laughs> uh, 
you never know with these uh, garbage decks. But you no, know, they can't be real traps because he would have gone. He would not play strike in his deck if he's going second, right? He would have been if he went first. So I don't think there's any of that. Uh, does the the deck? I don't think he can play. Yeah, I can't play rivalry goes in. Uh, at least I don't think he can. Unless they're all yeah, they're all different. They cannot play goes in a rivalry. You're lit, bro. Just pen summon away, win the duel. It's over. Pen too strong. Every other deck sucks. But see what I mean? That he can only pen that amount. Huge misplay. I would have discarded the wisdom eye or uh, anything else. You had to get a uh to use electrum's effect first. You could have electrum pop the jackal, add something, pen, save the cards in your hand. You would add an extra two, three cards. You would add an extra three cards in hand by doing so. And they go so good. It was the exact same result because you're not using electrum's effect anyways, right? But we'll see what happens here. Uh, he does synchro. What's he? Uh, uh, synchro seven. I do like Gazer and Harm Rising for this play. It is worth playing. Oh, that's a nice little play right there. Getting the Meteor Burst out. Uh, I'll get the Fang. I go Tornado Dragon. Uh, Vortex. You do a whole bunch here. Uh, the sky's the limit, actually. Uh, but you do have to watch over this guy's effect. Even though the deck does suck, I do know they get, get high attack. Get attack equal to the combined original attack of all monsters the card points to. So, uh, right now it's uh, 3,600. But if you destroy this first and have no monster going downwards, it's just going to be 2,000 attack. So what I would do here, I would go unaffected by effects. Oh, I think my boy played himself. Oh, no, he didn't. Absolute. Elect, uh, yeah, perfect. You're good. Go absolute here. Absolute Electrum. Go into Metaltron. Uh, then going downwards Vortex. And then Tornado Dragon under that. With this not pointing to any, you simply pop this with Tornado. Negate this with, uh, negate this with, uh, thing, with Vortex, if he activates it, and then pop, uh, the destroy this first, and then destroy this, uh, and then ha activate this to have a spell counter for Jackal, just in case he activates a monster effect, and you're good, and you win. Uh, so Pendulums, even without Pen Summoning, uh, turn one, you still win the duel. Again, we never know what happens, like, I thought we won game one, but they randomly came up, and hey, this is a match, this is, uh, Nearing uh, its apex, maybe on uh, 25 minutes into the match. No well, match take 40 minutes, anyways, boys. So the matches are supposed to be long. They're supposed to be long. I'm glad we came in right from game one to see the whole match because Pen this is a great match. This is a fantastic match. Oh, he activates a trap. You can activate this card. When you activate this card, you can tribute one Crusadia or Legacy. If you did, special summon a Crusadia with a different name from your deck or grave. While you control a link monster, your opponent cannot. Your opponent's monsters can only target link monsters for attacks. Oh, soft, bro. Who cares? Let him do do him. Uh, you could bring some another card out. Well, to the, he's doing that to the fact of vortex. I don't know what Crusadia's do, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna get rid of one of these cards. Get another Crusadia card. Get some plus or some garbage like that. And after that, uh, get Tornado Dragon to pop this. Uh, it says you can only attack link monsters for attack. So if you get Tornado. Popping this, you can still destroy uh, the normal monster and the link. So, absolute one Vanguard two. Not using effect. Yeah, so he's oh, I'm, it's only there so Vortex can't negate it. So activate it right out the back because Vortex won't be able to negate it. But he'll simply go into Tornado, pop this Vortex negate the, uh, this card if it stops Vortex. So we're good, we still win. Uh, but we do want to win in a, a quick time. So let's go, bro. Play faster. Uh, I will shorten this video a bit. Uh, cause 25 minutes, it, there'll be 30 minutes by the time it's done. It is long for a commentary video. Uh, I know you're gonna have attention spans of ants, but if you're still here, Trip Gaming, OG fam right there. I love you guys if you're still here. Watch a lot of video commentary, 20 minutes over now, how long it is. You guys are the OGs, I love you guys. Now, uh, comments, or write in the comments if you're still watching, and maybe we'll do a little surprise gift for you guys in the future. But, oh, it's a reboot! Let's go! Reboot! It's over for you, bud! It's over for you! It's over for you! Let's go! Pendulums up in this hole! Let's go! Let's go! Pendulums! Too strong! Ah! Let's go! Let's go! Set up a garbage trap now! Do you have another? Your deck sucks! Is that you probably play only one, and it's just that. The one you just set. Let's go, baby! Let's go! We win this! We win this! OTK in this turn, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Vortex comes out, not negating anything uh, he would bring out. Now he simply needs to go for game. 
Uh, if he has the Dark Rebel, or is that the card? Nah, there's a, you can play a lot of stuff here. Go rank 4. It depends what rank 4s he plays. Uh, that could give him victory here. Uh, but it does depend on which ones he plays. This is unaffected by effects. You have Dark Spellcaster. Uh, oh, yeah, he wins. He wins. So basically, here's what he's going to do. He's going to attack this with Wisdom Eye. Attack this with Wisdom Eye. Crash or Black Fang. Take the damage. Uh, and then Black Fang's effect will trigger. Special Link Jackal out. Special Link Jackal over here. And then simply attacking this at 2000 and attacking for game. Is that game? So attacks destroyed. Attack, she takes some damage. Special Jackal here. Attack 400. Uh, he'll be at 400. Uh, 5,000. 74. 7, that's 7,800. Ah! That was 7,800 damage. So he'll be 200 off. But it does give you a second Jackal. So we're going to activate a spell card. One sec, let's message my boy just in case. Or you get Tornado Dragon as well. Keep in mind, you can attack with Fang and SS Jackal. And you can go into another rank 6. If he has another rank 6. But depends. It's 7800 like that. Not full game. You'll take damage. You'll take 3k2 in the process. Or 2k. Tornado might be better control. Yeah, then Tornado might be better control, actually. Because if you could just clear the board. Uh, if you... Yeah, I'm 200 short. Great minds think alike. I've taken this all... Hey! So you knew that he could have done that. That's sick. Uh, I think Tornado better. I think Tornado is better. It's better because it's more control. So you can negate something. Uh... I think Tornado is better just because you could clear his board. And you could pop one of these now. Pop one on the next turn. Then he's going to have three cards. Versus a Vortex and a Jackal, which is going to be more than enough. Uh, he's going to put him low enough, and I think it's, it's perfect. You're good. You're good. Uh, but hey, this match should still go either way. You don't know what these cards are. You don't know what's in this guy's hand. It could actually go either way. Tornado here ensures this guy doesn't get attacked as long as you attack this first. Unless there's some underlying Crusadia fact that I don't know, which I don't know any of them. But they all suck anyway, so who cares? Pop this one because he doesn't know which one it is. You can only activate it to the spell card, which is no way you play two traps, this other guy. It's a spell, it's, oh, slumber. It was slumber. So he could use slumber's effect to add a kaiju. That's unfortunate. But he would activate it anyways, so it's fine. It's all good. Uh, so he's going to destroy the rest of them now. Uh, the other way was 200 short, and it ensured, like, he would activate slumber, right? He'd activate slumber, destroy, you'd have to waste your negate. That's going to give you a Kaiju, which uh, it doesn't. It is unfortunate, but it's all good. Uh, can this stop Grave Effects? Uh, I don't think it could. Uh, when, you start, uh, monster, or when a Spell Strap card or another monster, uh, you can't negate Grave Effect. Uh, that's okay. That's all good. You still have Bear Negates. Uh, you know he's going to get that. Is there any play you could make with Lynx? No, there's not. This was the best play. It's unfortunate that it was a Slumber. Uh, very unfortunate, but then what are you gonna do? So Kaiju is coming now, but he's gonna have three cards to deal with. Is those three cards enough to get through? Uh, to get through Jackal and to get through Tornado, we're gonna see what happens. It could actually go either way here. Uh, maybe bring the Jackal might have been one of the better plays, but it's still 200 off, and I think he already he go basically. Vortex and attack direct. Echo Max is unaffected. Yeah, so what's going on here now? Wait, what's going on? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, yeah, he can't protect that. So he takes one more. I think he's 2,500 more. Yeah, yeah, because unaffected, he can't use that to protect that card. Unaffected by effects except his own. I don't think he could do that. I don't. What? Target one Crusadian monster you control. That Crusadian monster is unaffected, but card effects this turn except its own. Alright, peace, fam. That's out. 2100 left. Let's go, baby. This way you get more interruptions. This way you didn't know it was a slumber. You had to pop it for sure with Tornado. 100%. You have to get the most out of it. And, uh, 
So it could go either way here, actually. Actually, either way. This this match has gone down big. Like, wow, this match is going right down to the wire. Pendulums versus Crusadia. Let's see what happens. Maybe Crusadia is not as bad as I thought. This could go either way. Uh, I would, uh, you'd have to wait on the tornado. Uh, yeah, you have to wait for it to the tornado because if you were to activate, uh, if you were to detach tornado, you get it, it's a continuous trap. I forgot what it did exactly. Actually, no, I think I'll use tornado right off the bat. Uh, because he flips it, uh, I, he can't chain it right now because I'm pretty sure he needs a Crusadia monster on field, right? I forgot what that card does, but, uh, if it says you need a monster on the field to activate it, then pop. Whatever, I lose regardless. Let's go! Pendulums remain victorious! Let's go, baby! Another victory for Pendulums. We're not going anywhere. Kill Switch with another victory on Trip Gaming channel. Make sure to subscribe to Trip Gaming. Make sure to subscribe to Trip Fitness below. It's over. He scooped. He had Kaiju Slumber. It's done. It's too strong. Let's leave a lasting note. Pendulums are the greatest deck. In, let's go, my enter isn't fast enough, in the planet, let's go baby, that's it for the video, hope you guys liked it, hope you guys enjoyed it, subscribe to both of the, uh, the YouTubes, see you guys in the next video, peace. Just admiring my cousin over there, don't mind me. But, hope you guys like the Yu-Gi-Oh! video. We're going to be doing some more roasting, etc, etc. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. I got a lot of time on my hand, so I can put any video you guys want. But I don't know what you guys want. So put in the comments below, let me know what you guys want. Don't forget Trip Fitness and Trip Gaming. We're now separated. Uh, all obviously ran by the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh! player and future greatest uh, bodybuilding champion of the planet. But, make sure to subscribe to Trip Fitness. Make sure to subscribe to Trip Gaming. More videos. It's going to be every single day. I make sure to finish this before Sunday football. That way, I'd actually be able to put up a video. Because it's out. Sundays, man, it's all for football. You already know. We got the football out here. We play quarterback, too. And we'll get some of the game in later as well. But, hope you guys like the video. And see you in the next video. Peace. Uh, this is an iPhone, actually. Should I get rid of it?